As some of you may know, I'm training to ride my bike hundreds of miles through Death Valley later on this year in order to raise money for climate charities. And a quick aside, thank you so much to everyone who's donated. We recently blew past my goal, which means that I will fulfill my promise of making videos of the journey, which I'm going to post for free over on my alt account. Hitting that goal, though, inspired me to up my training, which means spending more time on the bike, increasing my strength training, and also taking a good long look at my diet, you know, eating healthier, getting more protein, and of course, watching every fitness influencer that YouTube and other social media algorithms serve to me, taking all of their advice without question and thereby ultimately going on steroids. Okay, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to go on steroids. Uh, as I've got more obsessed with fitness over the years, though, my algorithm did start suggesting a lot of influencers, uh, fitness influencers. And at first, I was pretty impressed because the people that it suggested seemed to be interested in the science of fitness as much as I am, like Derek from More Plates, More Dates, Greg Doucette. These guys did admit that lots of people are on steroids these days, from actors and superheroes movies to your average gym rat influencers and these guys, you know, uh, and they also admit that steroids have a lot of downsides. And so instead of recommending people get on steroids, they tend to promote a safer, friendlier alternative in the form of supplements. Terkesterone is probably the thing I've seen promoted the most. It's a plant-based steroid or ectosteroid that is <clears throat> supposed to be perfectly safe. And a lot of these influencers claim that it's almost as good as taking regular anabolic steroids, just with none of the side effects. And, you know, that might be true if you're a rat, not a gym rat, as I referenced earlier, but an actual rat, like the one in Ratatouille, but instead of cooking, your passion is getting shredded. In 2015, researchers found that rats who took terkesterone actually got more shredded than rats that were on traditional anabolic steroids, which is truly incredible. Unfortunately, that study is a bit of an outlier, and there isn't a lot of data about how humans respond to terkesterone. Scientists know that it has a very short half-life, which means you need to take a lot of it, but they don't know how much you can take before it does something nasty to you. So while it's promising, there's not much evidence in favor of the average athlete spending their money on it. And to tip the scales even further toward don't bother, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that most of the fitness supplements being sold on the market right now don't actually contain the raw materials in the amounts that they claim are in there. Oh, and it might also contain bonus substances that are really bad for you. A devastating new study has found that 89% of fitness supplements are mislabeled and 12% contain FDA prohibited ingredients. That includes supplements that claim to contain terkesterone, also extracts of R. vomitoria, not the easiest substance to market, I imagine, methylliberine, halostashine, octopamine. And amusingly, to me at least, they performed these analyses back in June of last year, which happens to be the very month that a supplement selling competitor claimed that the terkesterone supplements sold by Derek from More Plates, More Dates and Greg Doucette contained practically no terkesterone at all. As with all of my videos, you can find links to everything I mention in the transcript, which is on my Patreon, which is linked below and publicly available to everyone, whether you're a patron or not. If you find the Reddit post I linked to there confusing, I also found a good explainer from another science-minded fitness coach. I'll link that as well but I'm not gonna go into it here. It, they get pretty deep in the weeds. There was a lot of back and forth over that competitor's accusations with many people giving Derek and Greg the benefit of the doubt. Like either this guy is lying because he's a competitor or else they these guys were fooled or it's all just a big misunderstanding. Well, here we have a completely disinterested third party confirming that, yeah, these supplements are terribly regulated and completely untrustworthy. Let's talk briefly about that disinterested third party. I was delighted to learn that the lead author on this is Dr. Peter Cohen at Harvard Medical School and Cambridge Health Alliance because 
I love this guy. I actually talked about him back in 2017 when he was sued by a cowardly piss baby named Jared Wheat, the owner of High Tech Pharmaceuticals. Jared was sad because Cohen published a study showing that their weight loss supplements contained an illegal, dangerous chemical similar to amphetamines. We lost that lawsuit, but he actually bragged to the press that he accomplished his ultimate goal of scaring scientists into censoring themselves, lest they have to go through a similar costly court case. I spent a lot of money, but hopefully it will deter others from going out there and making baseless allegations. Think twice and do better research. No knowing you can get sued if you do this. What a jackass. Back in 2017, I said I was excited to see what Cohen would do next because he had vowed to keep investigating the supplement industry. And well, here we are. The full study is available online, so I was interested to see in particular which products were the worst. They don't give the brand names, but they say they chose the products using an online database that I used, and it does show Derek and Greg's products, and the two turkesterone products that were advertised for bodybuilding had no turkesterone in them at all. Only half of the eight turkesterone products tested had any detectable amount of the substance in them. And again, we don't even know if turkesterone actually does anything for humans. On the plus side, none of the turkesterone products tested had any prohibited ingredients in them. Our Vomitoria products were much worse in that none of the 13 products tested had any detectable amounts of Vomitoria in them, but four of them did have stimulants that the FDA prohibits, like the designer drug stimulant Octadrine. All of this should alarm you if you or someone you love is taking these supplements. They're marketed as a safer alternative to steroids, which... Sure, yeah, but only because steroids are really bad for you. But they're being sold by these influencers who present themselves as being highly educated and knowledgeable about the science of fitness and performance enhancement. Like, Greg Doucette does have a master's in kinesiology, but until I made this video, I legit assumed Derek had some sort of chemistry background. Turns out he has a business degree and a decent vocabulary, which together he uses to sell you supplements of dubious quality. This research is just one more paper to add on to the pile that shows that the FDA needs to be better funded and better run to go after these predatory companies that sell credulous people pills that at best do nothing and at worst cause active harm. But unlike actual medicine, supplements are allowed to be sold with zero oversight unless and until something goes terribly wrong and the FDA has a crystal clear reason to investigate them. It's exactly the opposite of the way that these substances should be regulated. These companies should be held accountable and forced to prove that their products are both safe and effective before they're allowed on store shelves or on the websites of influencers who are telling you that they have the key to quick results. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you loved the video, please subscribe. And if you think the world could use more videos like this and you happen to have a few bucks laying around, head to patreon.com slash Rebecca and join an awesome community of nerds like the people whose names you see on the screen right now. Thanks. <laughs>